Good morning. Well, no, it's not even morning. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. It is definitely the afternoon. So good afternoon, everyone. It is. I'm not mainlining queso at like <laughs> nine in the morning. Yeah, Mike's over here eating queso. I don't people juggling. <laughs> it is Vlogmas day nine. <laughs> I had to think about it. That is how tired I am. But it is Vlogmas day nine. It is time for some Tsum Tsums. <laughs> Vlogmas Day 9. We've got number 9 right here. It's a teeny tiny one. Who's it gonna be? Oh my gosh, it's the teeniest, tiniest little Ariel. Here she is. Sparkly little Ariel. She's gonna go in the pond. It's a little icy. It might be a little colder than what you're used to, Ariel, but there you go. So today is just gonna be kind of a chill day since we did the lights yesterday and I stayed up till 4 a.m. editing yesterday's vlog. So today's just kind of chilling out, uh, but we do have a special guest with us this weekend. So everyone say hi to Heidi. If you were around for my weekly vlogs over the summer, then you will probably recognize Heidi, but Miss Heidi Girl's with us this week, or really this weekend. Hi, Heidi Girl. Oh, am I getting tail wags? Am I getting tail wags? Hi. So Heidi is Mike's parents' dog, and she's with us for the weekend. Today is Mike's mom's birthday, so if you watch this, happy birthday. So they went away for the weekend to celebrate, so we've got Miss Heidi girl. And I get tail wags whenever I say Heidi girl. Hi girl, yeah. So now we got three puppers. Okay, so I came out, I emerged from our warm house <laughs> into the cold to come check the mailbox for the first time and I'm getting to wear my new Disneyland sweatshirt for the first time. If you guys remember on the first trip in January, I searched everywhere for this sweatshirt and they were sold out of them everywhere at Disneyland. And so our trip in November, I got one. So excited. So uh, now let's go check the PO box. I There should be a package here and we'll see if there's anything else. Let's find out. Oh, fail. Sad face. I was expecting a package. It's not there. Don't know if they just haven't sorted it yet. You know, this time of year it gets kind of crazy at the post office, so. Boo! I was looking forward to it. I already know what it is, so I'm keeping it a surprise for you guys. But I already know what it is, but you'll just have to wait to see. But. Well, I came out. I might as well go to Starbucks now because I'm out and about and I need a hot beverage now, right? I think I think that needs to happen. So if you guys like really, really, really sweet coffee, I highly recommend getting a white mocha with a pump of cinnamon dolce. I tried it because one of their seasonal hot chocolates is a snickerdoodle hot chocolate and it's basically just white hot chocolate with a pump of cinnamon. So I figured, no, I'll try it with the white mocha and uh, whew. Oh, it's sweet. It's delicious, but this is dessert. This isn't even coffee. This is just straight dessert. So now, I think it's time to make some dinner. <laughs> In the hood today. the dark side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I am going to make Jamie's Easy Peasy Tomato tagli Tagliatella. Tagliatella. With the asparagus, fresh basil, and parmesan. <laughs> okay, bye. And uh, I don't know, I don't know guys. I'm not that optimistic for this one. The sauce for it looks like it's just straight up tomatoes. Like we're not really doing much to it other than adding garlic. And wow, my hair looks crazy. So I don't know, not super optimistic for this. And it's Jamie Oliver, which isn't helping because I never really like his recipes on HelloFresh, so. just a can of whole tomatoes, the garlic, basil stalks in there so far, that's it, and then the asparagus. And that's pretty much going to be the entire sauce aside from adding some basil to it. I just, I just don't think that's going to cut it. Tomato seeds really weird me out and since it's the whole tomatoes, it's just full of tomato seeds now. So 
Yeah, I'm not, not super optimistic for this one. So, it looks Christmassy. It's red and green. It just looks very plain, and uh, I don't have high hopes. So, that was a HelloFresh fail. I just tried it in the pot before I even tried serving it because I just had a feeling that it just was not going to go over and tasted it. And for those who don't know, I'm not that crazy about tomatoes, but I can eat them in very specific things. And normally tomato sauce is fine. However, normally with tomato sauce, you add some spice or you add some sugar or something to just make it not taste like straight tomatoes. All this had in it was garlic and basil. And so it was just tomato, big chunks of tomato with tomato seeds. I like asparagus, but I tried it and it was just, mm, nope, too tomatoey. Nothing else to it. So put it in a container. Mike will eat it. Mike will probably just heat it up and have it for lunch over the next couple days or something. So we're going to go get food. But that said, out of all the months we've been doing HelloFresh, that's only the second one that I just had no desire to eat. All the rest, even if I didn't like them, I was fine with eating them. This, I just... It, oh, I still got the tomato flavor. All right, so we came out to dinner. We're going to Slim Chickens. It's a new place. It's kind of like Zaxby's. Try this out. So I got the three and three, which is three wings and three tenders. I got the five and five with buffalo sauce on his. I got sweet chili sauce. And then we got the Slim sauce, cayenne ranch, honey mustard, and spicy barbecue. Yum. Can't stop, won't stop. Yum. <laughs> So we'll see. So there it is. It was delicious. Big fan for sure. We'll definitely be back. Loved it. We're happy that we're home. Heidi, are you tap dancing? Hi, girl. Are you tap dancing, Heidi? Hi, girl. Get the wig. Oh, God. Girl. Get the wiggle. Get the wiggle. She's like, Hi, I'm going where the food items come from. Hi, girl. Foster. Go ahead and do the advent calendar for today. Yay. Number nine. I see it right there. Yay! I like these better than the regular bars. They're more like the regular lengths. I'm a fan. So I feel like today's vlog is going to be kind of on the short side because what happened was I came back from dinner with Mike and I ended up getting on a Skype call with my best friend Brittany because we haven't talked in a while. And we were trying to Skype each other and her camera didn't work, but we still were able to talk to each other for a couple hours and uh, we have exciting stuff coming up soon. You'll find out more about that next week, but uh, we had stuff to talk about. So I do have a, a little clip that she filmed during our conversation because she had me watch the preview for The Mummy with Tom Cruise. And this is my reaction. This is my reaction to the Tom Cruise screen. <laughs> so thank you to Brittany for filming my reaction because uh, it was hysterical and I was crying. I was laughing so hard. So that was my evening. So now I'm going to do a question from the hat so that we at least have something to finish the vlog with. And what do we have? Okay, so we have, how did you and Mike meet and what made you move to Texas? This one was from Clarissa. However, there were a few different people who asked how Mike and I met. So I feel like tonight's a good night to talk about that because the vlog is pretty short, I think. So I got a little cozier uh, to answer this question. Trying to do a short version of this is hard, but we met on a music site called Turntable that no longer exists, but back in 2013, it was a music listening site that was also social. So people took turns DJing. I can insert a little picture of what it looked like over here. People would take turns picking what songs, and then there's also a chat box so you could meet people, talk to people while you were also listening to music. And we met in an 80s and 90s themed room that I had been a member of for about a year. Mike joined and we started off just friendly chatting in the room. He started private messaging me. <laughs> Eventually we just chat a lot in the room and quite a few of us from that group became friends in real life on top of being friends from the music room. So we added each other on Facebook. We eventually started chatting on Facebook. Eventually we started talking a lot and then flirting a lot. 
And then we had our first phone conversation that I think lasted five hours. And the only reason why we hung up is because it was 6 a.m. and he was going to breakfast with his dad. <laughs> then that switched to Skype conversations. And originally our first plan to meet in person was Mike was here in Houston the whole time and I was in Orlando at the time. And he and his friends were actually already planning to come to Halloween Horror Nights and do Universal in October. So the original plan was that I would meet up with them in October. And we definitely already liked each other. The chemistry was there. But we weren't, you know, you never know once you meet in person if you're being catfished, you know. So that was the original plan. And then we kept talking, we kept talking, and it was getting harder and harder to imagine waiting that long. So in August 2013, after very, very thorough Google searches, I decided to fly to Houston and meet Mike. So I flew out here. We had a wonderful weekend. Uh, we kind of had our first date, I would say. And we have been together ever since. And thankfully he was not catfishing me. He was everything he said he was. And the Google searches were correct. And uh, it was a risky thing. Not gonna say it wasn't. But after all the Skype conversations, I felt confident that he was who he said he was. So I took the leap and it was totally worth it. Cause we've been together ever since. So when that site closed down, we ended up moving to a site called Plug. So that one still exists, plug.dj. If you search for an 80s and 90s music room, you'll find you'll find Mike in there. I don't go in there that often anymore, but Mike is still in there. And some of our friends are still in there. But it was definitely a special place and a uh, very crazy way that we met. It's not traditional whatsoever. If you've seen that on my wall, that was actually drawn by one of the guys from the music room who did caricatures of like all the main people from the room. And so Mike actually just ordered a print of his drawing because that's our that's our screen names from the, the music site. So I thought that was awesome. So yeah, we've got it on our wall. So how we ended up in Houston, Mike is originally from Long Island, New York. His parents moved to Houston uh, around 2007, I think. And mainly because it was a uh, warmer climate and the cost of living is very low in Houston. So at the time, Mike was living in Baltimore and his brother, I think, was in Brooklyn. And so they decided to also move to Houston to be able to buy a house and actually, you know, start life without spending way too much money on housing like you would on the East Coast. So they moved here, I think, in 2009 or 2010 and bought this house together. When we met and started dating, there was a big debate on who was going to move and we went back and forth on this about a bajillion times. Uh, originally, I was getting ready to leave my job in Orlando, so the plan was for me to leave the job in Orlando and come here, and then I got the job offer in Sarasota. So then it switched to, okay, I'm gonna take the job offer in Sarasota, we'll see how it goes, and decide from there. And while I really enjoyed living in Sarasota for the most part and enjoyed my job there, when it came down to it and we started looking at financials, it just made way more sense for me to move here since Mike owns this house than it would be for him to have to sell the house and move to Sarasota. My position was not paying enough to warrant the financial decision of hurting Mike's financials for him to move there. So for now, I moved here, it ended up working out. I'm working freelance contract position for my previous job. I proposed that before I left and they took it. So. I didn't completely lose my job, I just switched my responsibilities and working remotely, obviously. So I took a pay cut but didn't lose my position and was able to move here and still have that. And we're not sure if we'll stay here forever, but we're here for the near future and it just made more sense. So I do miss my friends back at home, I miss being near my family, but I'm really glad to be in the same state as Mike and to finally live with him after almost three years of long distance. So that has not worn off for me. I'm still so ecstatic to get to see him every day that the downsides of missing the theme parks, missing my friends, missing my family, that hasn't completely set in yet because I'm still just so elated to get to see him every day. So, so I'm glad today was a shorter vlog because I think that was a long answer, but hopefully you guys enjoyed story time with Liz. <laughs> okay guys, so I know this one wasn't very Christmassy, but if you want Christmassy goodness, 
go to yesterday's vlog. There's tons of zoo lights. And then tomorrow, I think we're going on an adventure. So there will be lots of fun stuff from tomorrow. So with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.